This was the brutal moment when a Russian tank column was wiped out by Ukrainian armed forces while trying to make a breakthrough near Avdiivka. Ukrainian troops appear to have resisted a battalion-sized Russian armored attack, destroying many Russian tanks and vehicles near the captured eastern town of Avivka. In the video you saw, Russia appears to be using 36 tanks and 12 BMPs, which is the largest amount of armored used in a single attack since the start of the war. 12 Russian tanks and 8 BMPs were knocked out. The Ukrainian army carried out real attacks on Russian units using dozens of artillery strikes and FPV drones. As you can see, several large explosions caused the entire Russian column to be destroyed by Ukrainian troops in a very effective attack. Other brutal footage also shows Russian infantry being attacked by Ukrainian FPV drones as they retreat after a failed attack. The video provided by Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade shows that the action likely occurred near Avdiivka. These Russian soldiers were walking across an open field, helping the wounded, and unfortunately, their actions were rather unusual. At the start of the video, an FPV passes by a group of three men, two of whom appear to be helping an injured colleague, but the drone passes them by. A figure near the three appears to be shooting at the drone recording the footage. Eventually, the FPV drone returns and attacks the three men, knocking them off the battlefield. This is also a terrifying moment showing a Ukrainian FPV drone destroying a Russian MTLB and its crew in the Donetsk region. Drone footage from Ukraine's 79th Air Assault Brigade shows Russian MTLB armored amphibious combat vehicles stuck in their trenches. Ukrainian forces sent an FPV drone flying towards the Russian MTLB vehicle and managed to fly through an open hole and brutally blow up the Russian MTLB. Then we can also see how the Russian troops are still hiding under vehicles and trying to escape to avoid further attacks. However, the Ukrainian FPV drone managed to catch up and destroy his position. Another video shared by the Ukrainian armed forces also shows a Ukrainian Mavic drone destroying a Russian T-90M tank near Avdiivka with the help of an American M67 grenade. It is unknown why the Russians abandoned their tanks, but the Ukrainian defenders decided to destroy them. A large fire broke out in the fighting compartment of the enemy tank. There may have been ammunition in it and the grenade explosion set off projectiles up to 125mm projectiles, which were used by the 90M to break through the fire. The invader's battle vehicle caught fire from the inside, which was the cause of its destruction. Please note that this Russian tank is equipped with additional dynamic protection on the top of the turret, which is expected to protect the vehicle from kamikaze drones. However, despite the above protection, Ukrainian trained drone operators were still able to destroy it with just one touch of a grenade. Ukraine's armed forces also shared videos showing FGM-148 Javelin missiles being used to destroy Russian armored vehicles during maneuvers. In the video, you can see how a large explosion occurred on the Russian tank, and it is certain that the tank was destroyed into pieces and could not be used again. If viewers look closely, they will see an American flag on the Javelin operator's helmet. One should not make assumptions based on symbols. American forces do not operate openly in Ukraine, Ukrainian troops are seen wearing many uniforms, and several Ukrainian Americans are holding dual citizenship in the Ukrainian armed forces. Over the past day, 53 clashes between Russian and Ukrainian troops took place on the front lines. Ukrainian troops repulsed Russian attacks in six main directions. 
At the same time, Russia lost 710 troops, 20 tanks, 17 armored vehicles, and 32 artillery systems, according to the trusted Ukrainian media outlet Espresso. Meanwhile, Ukraine will receive new missiles and hundreds of armored vehicles as part of a new tranche of military aid announced by France, which comes as Kyiv faces ammunition shortages and prepares for Russia's summer offensive. Paris will send hundreds of VAB armored personnel carriers to Ukraine as early as 2025, Le Cornu said. This old equipment, which is still operational, will be sent directly to Ukraine in large quantities, the minister said. France is currently facing out the use of VAB armored carriers. France will also donate Aster-30 anti-aircraft missiles for land-based air defense. France is a significant provider of military aid to Ukraine and is part of European efforts to increase aid to Kyiv, while future aid from Ukraine's largest provider, the US, remains insufficient. Earlier this week, Le Cornu said France would soon be able to provide Ukraine with another 78 Kieser self-propelled 155mm howitzers. Artillery and ammunition for this system have consistently been at the top of Kyiv's wish list. Kyiv has attempted to contain Russia's slow but steady advance in eastern Ukraine, as well as Moscow's offensive north and south of the current front line. Ukraine says it anticipates new Russian attacks, possibly starting in early May and lasting into the summer months. Kyiv officials and Western analysts say shortages and delays in military aid have hampered Ukrainian operations and hampered their efforts to thwart Russia's advance. After Ukraine successfully repelled a large-scale Russian mechanized attack around Avdiivka on Saturday, the U.S. think tank, the Institute for the Study of War (ISW) said Ukraine's success around the city showed that Ukrainian forces can achieve significant battlefield effects if they are properly equipped. If there is no U.S. support, it means we have no air defense, no Patriot missiles, no jammers for electronic warfare, no 155mm artillery shells, Ukraine's leader, Volodymyr Zelensky, told the Washington Post earlier this month. He added that we will go backward, step by step, in small steps. We're trying to find a way not to go backward.